<laughs> wow. I just looked at all the stringers. I'm trying to figure them out. You guys left color on them. Wow. Oh, there's no dimension. I'm going to have to have a look at these for a second. Give me a second. Hold on, let me take a stroll down here. Have a look. OK, I'm going to start up here. Let me have a look at this. You're trying to confuse me, aren't you? What the fuck is that one? A little mayhem, maybe. No, this is the mayhem. No. OK, this is the mayhem, I feel like. That's real funny rails. Guys, I've had a JS. I know that smell. Seriously. Yeah. And this feels like a Hawaii board. There's a Pukas in this area. Takoro uses Australian blanks. So then you guys are trying to confuse me. This might be a Takara though. There's a sharp eye in here somewhere too. I just got confused, I just forgot. What is this tail? I've never had that. It's a bit of a mind fuck. Am I taking too long to get through? Now, your 2022 Stab in the Dark competing shapers. Matt Biolis, John Pizel, Timmy Patterson, James Cheel, Johnny Cabianca, Britt Merrick, Marcio Zuvi, Axel Lorenz, Darren Hanley, Jason Stevenson, Wade Takoro, Eric Arakawa, and Glenn Pang. This year's lineup may very well make for the most prestigious quiver in Stab in the Dark history, a fact that Jack became aware of early on. Previous mystery surfers had no inclination as to what shapers out of the thousands and thousands of potential board builders around the world had been invited to submit boards. But Jack was tipped off to three key points of information. One, that of this year's 13 esteemed shapers, 10 had shaped boards for world champions. Two, that five of them had won Stab in the Dark previously. And three, that we'd be fools not to include some local Hawaiian heavies. Armed with that information, it didn't stop Jack from taking every bit of an hour and a half to decide, in his opinion, which was which. A new twist to this year's Stab in the Dark, Jack was told that he'd have to eliminate one board straight away, purely on feel. We'd call it, of course, Unlucky 13. And then we're going curveball at you. You have to eliminate one board just based on feel. Eliminate it? Yeah, right away. One board gets axed today. Oh, so, some, so I'm not even going to ride it. It's just ax it. All right, let's go. Um, okay, pink, mayhem, I think, Channel Islands in the green. And this, might just have to put it out. I don't really know. It feels like it's a bit weird. Maybe scrap it. <laughs> um, in the gray, sorry, gray scrapped. This though, feels like a good board. In the beige, Cabianca maybe? <laughs> JS, yeah, I'm confident with this one. Yellow Takara. Arakawa, Eric shaped a few boards like this, and I think he's gonna do a short board like this. So I think that's him in the blue. Sharp Eye. Pizel, wasn't too sure on this one in the red. This is an Aussie board, I feel like, in the purple, but is that purple? Yeah. Is it a DH? And then Pukas, and in the gray, the chili. I feel like the Patterson, I don't know. It's just what I saw in his shop. It felt quite similar to. That's it. Nothing happened. It's all good. It'll still go good. Okay. Let's go surf.